Hey traders, uh, somebody in the chat room just asked me a question about Fubo. They actually brought the, to my attention, first of all, Fubo reports earnings, I think, after hours. So um, they noted that the implied volatility, this column right here, is pretty high, uh, almost 200, 190, compared to next week's, which is uh, 60 points lower, 120. That's still high, but um, what is that? This is how nervous... Um, the traders are about this week's versus next week's and if I go out in time it'll drop even further under 100 that's still high usually it's like 30 uh, but this is nothing usual about this stock it's a uh, meme stock and earnings make people more nervous so what does that mean it means that if I'm buying a call here in this week that expires in six days uh, f three days sorry Tuesday already? Wow. Or Wednesday. Holy moly. Okay, so if it expires, uh, I mean, if it expires in so quickly, so anything I buy here is overpriced by a lot. Um, so 30% premium air math to next week's. So tomorrow, after the stock opens, after the event of the, the um, earnings, that premium disappears. So even if nothing happens, I'm going to lose 30 to 40% of my money based on that alone. So if I pick the right direction, some of that gain is going to get uh, obliterated <laughs> just from the implied volatility. They call it the IV crush, which means that this implied volatility will go back in line with the one from next week. They will probably both drop a little bit. This one will drop a lot of bit. They will be about the same tomorrow after the event. So people take advantage of that. How? They get fancy. So you've heard of a debit call spread. So if I go out to next week and I buy a call and I sell a call above it, that is called a debit call spread. It costs me some money and then um, I can make profits if the stock rallies, right? Some people do it differently and they um, take advantage of this implied volatility. So if they buy the, um, a call for next week, uh, they're only paying 100, oh, I'm choking saying that, only paying at 126 implied volatility. And they're, they sell one against it for this week at 190 volatility. So tomorrow morning when the stock opens, this one is going to lose faster than this one. So that's the advantage they play. They're buying cheap relatively, selling expensive relatively. Now, this here is not the one I would do. That's way too close. And this is called a call calendar. I buy a call out in time. I sell a call shorter time uh, at the same level, 29.50, 29.50. Again, this is not a recommendation. This is not the trade I would do. I would First of all, I would do it higher. How high? I want it to, I want it to not reach it this week. The idea is for if I guess up, I want FUBO to spike, but not past 30, because I want this one to die uh, in my favor, leaving me long this one for next week. That's the idea. Now, can I change this up? Yes, I can still buy the 30 for next week and sell the 31 for this week, or 32, or 33. You see what I mean? So if I go to 30 here to show you. So if I do this, so now I bought next week's 30. I paid $1.90 for it. I, so I would sell the 32 for next week for this week and I collect a dollar. So now my net entry cost drops to one dollar per contract. And I am long at 30 and this week I'm short at 32. So I do have this is called a diagonal because I'm not long and short at the same place. I'm long at 30, short at 32. Can I make it higher? Yes, I can go up higher and collect less than 90. So this is called a spread still. This is a debit call spread, vertical. This is a calendar, same level, 30, 30. This is a diagonal, okay? Debit call spread, vertical spread, you've heard it before. Calendar spread, when I change time, I buy the one out, that's very important. Uh, but same level, 30 and 30, or 29, 29, 31, 31, 32, 32. Keep it the same level. It's called the calendar. Or if I buy the 30 and I sell the 32, now it's called a diagonal. Can I go lower? Yes, but I wouldn't do it. I have done it before, not in this instance. That's bearish. 
temporarily. Okay, so this is the skinny on how to use the implied volatility difference between this and that. This is too expensive. Tomorrow it won't be. It will revert to the same level as this one wherever they end up. They may end up both at 100, but this one will lose way faster. It has a premium that disappears overnight. That's it. Next signing out.